Ahoy hoy everyone, and welcome to another episode of VHS Era. So we've done 10 episodes so far, and they've all been movies. But has this ever happened to you? You're walking alongside a video store, and you see a tape that has a few episodes of your favorite show on it. Well, they did a lot of those back in the 90s, and one such show that happened to was The Simpsons. And we're going to do a little experimental thing. We're going to look at one of those tapes with someone who currently works on The Simpsons and someone who worked on The Simpsons back when it first got started. First, we're going to be discussing it with someone who currently works on The Simpsons, Michael Price. Welcome to the show, Michael. Hi, Kevin. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. So, Michael, uh, before you worked on The Simpsons, do you remember seeing these tapes like in video stores and such? Oh, sure. Absolutely. They were everywhere. I mean, The Simpsons, certainly when VHS uh, was the dominant uh, form of home video, you know, was very popular. And I remember seeing the, the uh, tapes in the stores. Uh, I don't think I bought any <laughs> before I joined the show. But then uh, when I was hired to work on the show, uh, which was in 2001, unbelievably, uh, I realized I had some gaps in my knowledge of the show. And, and the show was airing, like reruns were airing every night. But uh, I went and grabbed as many of the VHSs that I could to catch up on the shows that I hadn't seen. Okay. Yeah. I remember as well, like, you know, you know, as huge of a fan of The Simpsons as I was, I bought, you know, like most of at least the first few seasons on DVD as well as like the compilation DVDs. And I remember seeing the compilation VHSs in stores, but I don't think I ever Oh, wait, no, I think I actually do. Now that I'm remembering, yeah, I vaguely remember, like, somewhere I have, like, an old VHS tape of, like, Simpsons episodes. I think it might have actually been this very one, or at least the U.S. version. As right. Yes, today we're going to be looking at the version from the United Kingdom uh, for... <clears throat> The Simpsons Go to Hollywood, which um, is a compilation of Simpsons episodes that focus on them meeting celebrities or just them getting into the entertainment industry in general and the wackiness that ensues from there. As Because as we know, there's definitely a lot of episodes like that. I love how long these copyright things are on here. <laughs> yeah, they're really yeah. like sit through them or use your fast forward. Yeah, I know, but it's weird. They're putting it in these like funky colors. Yeah. But like they're, it's just regular text. It's not, they're not doing anything really humorous with it. So yeah. it's like, why well, put it in these wacky colors? If you're just going to do the same old spiel of this is copyrighted material, don't don't steal it or don't blah blah blah. I don't know. No one really read those anyway. Yeah, you just hit your fast forward button as soon as the thing came on. But they had to be there. Uh, this is something we don't see anymore, or exactly like this. So. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a really kind of cool graphic uh, for their home entertainment division. Um, 
whoever the graphic designer was on that really did put on a show like they could have just slapped something together and thankfully they didn't well i mean that is the most probably the most iconic uh whatever you want to call it studio intro in all of hollywood i'd say you know like that 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 fanfare the music that you know there's been different versions of it over the years but that thing of 20th century fought it's just to me, to me, it reminds me of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's what you'd always see before Star Wars. Um, but it's been it's been that way. That music was there probably from the nineteen, I'm guessing from the nineteen forties or so. So it's just such an iconic thing, and there's nothing nothing even touches it. Yeah, and it actually reminds me of this meme. I don't know if you saw it that was shared on. I think I want to say Twitter, um, which is like where they shared like logos from different studios and they were like what movie does this remind you of i don't know have you seen those <laughs> logos no i ha i haven't seen that one no but yeah i mean 20th century fox to me will always be star wars um mm -hmm. i can't think about anything else i mean like going back further like uh the sound of music or whatever but yeah yeah um let me think God, what could I? Yeah, probably like Star Wars is something I'd associate with the Fox logo. Got all well, the Simpsons. God, like, <clears throat> just it's hard to think like of what of like what else I'd associate with it because it's just like yeah, that's a lot of logos, a lot of movies. Yeah, it, no, true, and it's interesting how people become really invested in those or emotionally attached that's why when when uh disney uh bought lucasfilm and the, and the new star wars films are put out by lucasfilm it's it's not quite the same without that 20th century fox fanfare in the beginning uh yeah and even the new the new um indiana jones movie that came out this summer uh which had its problems in general but indiana jones movies are to me associated with paramount because the, the ones directed by Steven Spielberg always had that thing where we would start with the big Paramount Mountain, which would then, uh, you know, dissolve into the first image of the movie would always be some version of that mountain in some fun way. And so the new one that came out this past summer was made by Disney and put up by Lucasfilm. And so it didn't have anything like that. And uh, we were, I remember being in the theater and I said, oh man, where's the Paramount Mountain that turns into the thing, you know? Yeah, though I will say it's kind of funny, you know, now that Disney also owns Fox, they don't just put it back on. I mean, they don't put the Disney logo on the Star Wars movies or the Marvel movies. So, like, why yeah, not? Interesting. I don't know. It must be some kind of deal they made with Lucasfilm and Marvel. I'd love to find the contract for that or the lawyer that worked that out. Simpsons on video. Just one lap. And you'll be hooked. Pull on the thing that near the other thing. A lot of nudity. Simpson now on video. <clears throat> put it in, put it in. With never before seen episodes. Add to your collection today. And laugh anytime you want. I found an extra 75 watt bulb lying around. Why the Simpsons on video? I'm kind of curious when they say never before seen episodes because I recognized. All those episodes. I don't know myself when I saw that. I was like, what? What are you talking about? Video commercial? I mean, I, I'd like to find out like what what the te what the teaser is and what the reality is. I don't know. Yeah, like maybe they were on the VHS first and then they aired on TV because like yeah, the episode with uh, Maggie and the newspaper thingy. God, what was a what are those scenes called? I don't think they even have them anymore. Oh, the newspaper box. Yeah. yeah. And the one where Homer and Marge streak around town naked. Like, I, yeah, I know those episodes were on TV. <clears throat> yeah, the, I'm looking at the, I just Googled it right now. The episodes that they aired on that, each tape had about four episodes on it because that was about the most room you could uh, fit on a. VHS tape. 
were Trios of Horror 9, mm-hmm. Natural Born Kissers. That's the one where they're getting uh, naked all over town. <laughs> mm-hmm. Grandpa versus Sexual Inadequacy. Uh, and the Cartridge Family, the one about the them all buying guns. So, uh, oh, it says, oh, it's, I'm looking at this like certain scenes were banned, temporarily banned in various countries like in the uk um oh so that might be what it is and maybe that's the ones that they were selling in the uk or something the ones that were okay yeah. it says here yeah the episodes cause... on this dvd were either censored or banned from the uk television for being too sexual or violent the cartridge family was banned for showing a violent soccer riot uh and so on like that so that must be that's why that's why they're real to say that Okay, that makes more sense. Though, what's also interesting is, I might be misremembering, but wasn't the episode with Maggie and the newspaper box from the short films about Springfield one? I believe it probably is. So I think they were they were playing fast and loose with the truth. How dare they do that? Those people making commercials, you know, that's, they're not used, they're not known for doing that kind of thing. But uh, yeah. Yep, not at all. The Simpsons are making the jump from TV to your computer with the Simpsons Cartoon Studio. The Simpsons Cartoon Studio has everything you need to create your own Simpsons <laughs> cartoons. Bart, Homer, and the hilarious Simpsons universe, including backgrounds, music, sound effects, and voice loops. So don't have a towel, man. Become a cartoon director with the Simpsons Cartoon Studio. I'm just nostalgic now for like CD ROMs and things like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know if they still make those, but um. It does kind of lead to an interesting um, discussion how, you know, about the marketing of The Simpsons, how they would make fun of people for doing stuff like this. And then they would do stuff like this. Of course. (laughs) But honestly, that's just kind of marketing in general. I mean, movie and TV show marketing, like. Yeah. It's very do as you say, not as you do. Come, like, oh, well, I, yeah. yeah that's true although i will say this that like w- when I, i'm not super involved in that end of things but sometimes they'll they'll involve us writers or producers in when they're making a thing like this mm-hmm. uh and usually what we're trying to do from our side like from the writing side of uh, the the creative or the show side is to keep that spirit of a little bit of edge a little bit of stat title anarchy in, in place you know so like a video game uh might just not hopefully wouldn't not just be a video game but a video game that also has like satire about video games or whatever like that so i know we're always trying to do that even when we worked on the simpsons ride at universal studios so much about it was about trying to make it like it's a ride but also having fun and satire with the with the idea of what the ride is about and what a ride is about so i will say that that's you know, I mean, the marketing people will try to do their thing. They're trying to make some money and whatever. And we're always trying to protect that that kind of the integrity or the comic the comic integrity or the satirical integrity of the show. Yeah, and I will say that honestly, the ad is you know the the ad does a decent job at least keeping the atmosphere of the show intact <laughs> and 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 you know yeah. like and um like it doesn't really feel like. You know, even if it does seem a little too, like, oh, it's becoming another franchise. It's becoming another fran. Even if there is kind of um, how do I say this? Like undercurrent of oh, they're doing too much to franchise it. It at least feels like an ad that's trying to keep in the spirit of the show. Yeah, I wonder if anyone. I wonder if it's out there, maybe on YouTube or anywhere out there, or it's like people who use that. CD-ROM to create things like are there any things or are those out there anywhere can you find them that people put them up or you know I'd love I'd love to see what you could have made with that thing or if you could be creative and make your own thing or if it's just literally like you just like clicking on Homer falls down or <laughs> yeah I wonder that as well like and that could actually lead to another interesting thing about it which is that you know it is you know despite sort of the commercialized nature of such a product existing, like at least it gives the fans the chance to interact with these characters in a way they otherwise wouldn't. Yeah. 
So there's that as well. Welcome to Virtual Springfield, a 3D exploration of all things Simpsons. Drop by the Simpsons house. How's the mowing going? Drop dead, Flanders. Mix a flaming mow. <laughs> Shop at the Quickie Mart. <laughs> it comes jerky. Or we'll play games at Noiseland Arcade. Virtual Springfield will make Simpsons fans feel right at home. There was only three commercials on this VHS, at least in the UK. So honestly, uh, let, let us just give us our thoughts on that quick ad and um then we'll rate the vhs opening so um yeah. i will say that i feel like that ad does sort of do a good job at like not only keeping in spirit to the tone of the show but sort of sells the idea like that you're in going to be in spring <laughs> you're going to be interacting with all your favorite characters i feel like it is actually in an effective way of sort of like if a product like this has to exist selling you on why it should yeah no it looks fun i do it uh you know it's interesting it's kind of like um the precursor to the game that the uh you know the mobile game or the the ipad game called tapped out which mm -hmm. is uh you know much more different than much more interactive and you know the whole 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 other thing but it's also like it's a virtual version of springfield that you're able to travel around in and, and do things and then this one i guess was just basically i don't know it just I'm, i never saw this thing before but i guess you just basically move your cursor around and click on things and you know you click on uh mo's and mo would say something funny and then you move down the street <laughs> whatever but i'm sure it was fun to do yeah so anyway now we come to the end and we're going to rank it with either stay through the previews or skip to the feature. And for me, I'll have to say that even if you could be a little cynical and say, oh, the Simpsons, and look at this and say, oh, the Simpsons is becoming everything they they're making fun of, it's at least short. <laughs> It at least doesn't pretend like you don't care about anything other than The Simpsons while watching The Simpsons VHS. They don't, Fox doesn't try to push on properties, other properties, hoping you might be interested. It just, it knows that you're watching The Simpsons. It just promotes The Simpsons. It just does a couple promotions, then shows the episode. So I'll say stay through the previews. Won't hurt you. I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. I mean, I'm, I'm picturing myself back there in 1997 or 98 and like, yeah, I want to see this, you know, uh, you know, if, like you're saying, uh, if it had ads for other Fox movies or for VHSs of, uh, I don't know, of uh, like King of the Hill or something like that, or whatever, like I would probably skip through those. But being you're by, I'm at, you're imagining you're buying this tape because you're a Simpsons fan. So you're going to see, oh, this is interesting. I want to check this out. And like you said, it's only, it's not very long. Although you probably would know that in those days, you put the tape in and you had no idea how long the, the previews would be before the thing, because there was no way to skip forward. You just have to use your, hold down your fast forward button and scroll through. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was good. It's definitely, definitely watch the previews. Yeah. So anyway, um. Michael, before we go, uh, do you have anything to plug? No, just The Simpsons, which continues to be uh, a going a going concern, as they say. Uh, we are currently in the middle of our season thirty five on uh, American TV, and uh, we are also writing uh, the next season. Season thirty six uh, is in the planning stages we'll be working on that soon but uh we're so excited we we're off for about five months because of the writer's strike um but we've been back to work since october and we've been very excited we have a lot of amazing episodes coming up that we're really 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 excited about and of course we were so ha happy and proud that we won the emmy award uh two weeks ago for uh our halloween show from that aired in 20 22 uh so we're very happy to have the show keep going on and we're really thrilled and excited for what's coming up and 
we're just so I personally I'm just so happy that I get to keep working on this amazing show and it's incredible to me that I'm watching this thing from 26 27 years ago uh when the show by that point the show had been on for eight years <laughs> which is longer than most shows last so uh uh, it's incredibly exciting and I'm incredibly grateful to still be part of this amazing thing. Yeah, not to get on like a side note, but like it, it's always funny to me when people like say, oh, they canceled the show before before its time and it was on for like eight years, six, seven, eight years. Like I remember <laughs> I think the t like the Tim Allen show Last Man Standing was canceled by ABC and people were like, oh, they only canceled it because it stars a conservative. And it was on for like six years by that point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and but yeah. it's like, yeah, but that's just one example. But yeah, it's so funny to me when, you know, shows do go on so long and then people are like, oh, it's been on. So it's and it's like and they're like, oh, it hasn't even gotten started yet. And that. But then you have, you know, shows like this that eight that like eight like eight years is already a long time. But now over thirty eight years, years, yeah. Well, I mean, in today's landscape, streaming, uh, the new norm is like two seasons or three. Yeah, because I I had another whole other show that I created and, mm -hmm. and co created and and ran for Netflix, which was called F is for Family. Uh, and over the course of around six or seven years or so of work, we made um, five seasons, which, which turned out to be around 44 episodes. Uh, very proud of it. But even then, when they canceled it, Netflix can't, told us they were canceling it after season five. Everyone who I knew was like, wow, five seasons from Netflix. That's like that's like 12 anywhere else and that was two that was almost two or three years ago when we when when we finished working on that show and now it's gotten even shorter you know literally like I, just last week i read about all these amazing shows that were canceled after the second season you know the third season so but to be on and to be on something like simpsons that's now going into season 36 with literally no no end in sight it's just unbelievable yeah well anyway that was VHS era, and we will get a second opinion about this VHS next week, next um, episode, and we'll see you then.